And it looks like we're back. Yeah. Hey, girl. Oh, hey, girl. Hey. Yeah. Honestly, the Wi-Fi was having a moment, and that's OK. We're back. The girl, the contact moment. I was trying to find me a cute filter, honey. <laughs> That's all good. Well, first of all, thank you so much for being here. We're so excited to have you. So excited to have a little Friday night kiki. I kind of <laughs> thought that this is like us going out together. Since we can't actually go out, then we'll hang out on Instagram Live. Of course. Let's do it. Yes. So we'll just get right into it. I think one of the things that makes you so relatable is that we've really been able to see you grow and evolve and level up in real time. And we've also mm -hmm. seen like bounce back from some criticism and it feels like we've grown with you. So how did you transform all of the early criticism into motivation? Um, honestly, like you could only get better with, with criticism, but it has to be constructive. Um, now that I'm a little bit more mature when it comes to sifting through those comments, I know what's for the greater good and I know what's just pure hate. So um, I always like to, to see what's going on and to see what I can improve on. So, I mean, improving only will, will make me better. Totally. And I think from when the first ICEP came out, like, it's only been up from there and it's been so interesting to see. But after the ICEP came out in 2019, you said that you took a bit of time off uh, to kind of like level up and recenter as an artist before your big album came out. So what did that time off look like for you? Um, I switched management, um, recorded a lot of new tracks, but I think I needed a moment to figure out who Suwiti was as a human being, because if you don't know who you are in and out, it's kind of hard to, to say where you're going. So a lot of self-reflection, um, I had to, to write out my goals over again, but yeah, I feel like I'm on my right path now. Totally. And during that time, is that when the ball started rolling for Pretty Bitch Music? I mean, the ball started rolling at Tap In. I feel like that was an introduction back to, hey, Sweetie's back, and then Pretty Bitch Freestyle and then back to the streets, and then now we have Best Friend. Yes, and so is the album coming next? Are we gonna get another single next, or is it gonna be a surprise? It's gonna be a surprise. I think I might do maybe one more song. I don't know. I gotta, I gotta see what makes the most sense. Okay, well, I mean, we can't wait regardless. Um, oh my gosh, am I, am I super close to the screen? You are, but you look amazing. <laughs> Oh, that's hella boosty. Okay, I don't know what's wrong, but when I go live with people, um, it scoots me in. Like, you're hella bad. Oh, but really? Like, yeah, I'm so far from the camera, but um, I just saw another phone, and it's, my face is hella close. So my bad, girl. I'm not being obnoxious or anything. It's, like, really far from Oh my god, yeah. Instagram playing with me. <laughs> no, honestly, Instagram Live can be very rude sometimes, but I promise we weren't seeing any nostril, we weren't seeing any pores. It was perfect. So you're all good. Okay, I mean, it, they got the, the thing next to me. So it, it is what it is. I don't want to hold up your interview, but yeah, girl, I was Definitely. looking like that. It was like a little bit of a camera to nostril moment. Yeah, like, girl, you should have told me, sweetie girl, you might want to back up. But it's okay, we here. Okay. No, next time I got you, don't worry. Um, so about Best Friend, the video is already so iconic. How, do you, you write with, like, the visuals in mind already? I have to. Um, I feel like I need to bring my vision to life. I feel like me and Dave Myers had, I lost count, but we had so many meetings and I wanted this to be perfect. So I redid the treatment at least three times. Do you think you're a perfectionist? I'm definitely a perfectionist. It has to yeah. be perfect. Everything is recorded, screen recorded, memed, whatever you want to call it. So I try to strive for perfection. And we can definitely tell. Um, and even in the collaborations that you've been able to pull off, in quarantine when we're all so separated. Has collaborating been a challenge in the quarantine? Um, yeah, because after like me hearing about these strands mutating, I'm like, I'm not collaborating with nobody in person. And if you do, we gotta get COVID tested, okay, girl? Cause I'm not playing with my health. 
<laughs> yeah, definitely not. Um, another question about Pretty D Bitch Music. What other collaborations can we look forward to? Because I know you've already obviously got Doja Cat. You've got a track with Dr. Luke. You've got a track with Timberland. Are there any other features that you can let us in on? Oh, girl. <laughs> Okay, why well, I'm nosy. Um, mm, it's a secret. <laughs> okay. Aw, okay. Quavo's in the comments. He said, you perfect already. So sweet. Is Quavo on the album? He might be. Stay tuned. Ooh, okay, okay. Um, back to the topic of best friends, though. Do you feel like it's hard to stay connected to your best friends from childhood or from college or really from before you blew up? Honestly, my best friends is, is um, in my family. So mm -hmm. my cousins, my aunties, my uncles. I have a really big family, so I've never really been worried about having like a, an outside friend. Totally. And on the other side, is it hard to like establish genuine connections with other women in your field or in your industry? Um, I wouldn't just even single out women. I feel like the entertainment industry is, a, is an interesting field. However, what I will say is I love me some Doja Cat, which is why I put her on best friend because I've known her for some years. And the energy, the vibes is always the same. So I definitely wanted to share that moment with her. Totally. And the result was so sick. One Thank thing about you. your album that I'm particularly looking forward to is Saweetie's workout plan because after like a year in quarantine, the girls need it. And by the girls, I mean me. Okay. Um, <laughs> do you work out a lot? Because not gonna lie, I feel like your diet is really like having me thinking that you're eating like Cheeto ramen, you're eating seafood pasta, you're eating McGangbangs. So is the workout like on another level? Um, I weight train, so I lift okay. heavy weights and I run stairs, so I think that kind of makes up for it, but totally. me, I'm, big, I'm big mama. I like to eat anything and everything. Okay. That really resonates with me. Um, and also, like, congratulations on your New Year's Eve performance. That was such a good way to go into the new year. Putting together a live performance to no audience, was that weird? Mm -hmm. Um, I'm kind of used to it by now. In the beginning of the pandemic, I had to perform towards a green screen, which was a little awkward, but I think I'm used to it now. Totally. And what is your live treatment going to look like outside of the pandemic? Like, have you already started thinking about that? Um, it's definitely going to be a vibe. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I feel like I'm on this path of just innovation and trying to be different. So... I would like for it to be an experience. Totally. And what is on like the pretty bitch music mood board? What has been inspiring you lately? Oh. I don't want nobody copying me, so I don't want to say it out loud. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. But we'll take this off off chat. Okay, I got you. And also, someone in the comments wanted to know where you are. They're like, why are you recording from your closet? Oh, no, it's like my glam room. Look at Got my little tree over there. You know, it's real cute. Very cute. All right, so I'm taking to the streets, taking to the comments to see what some people want to ask you. Let me see. Someone said... Is Doja really your best friend? <laughs> of course. That's my bestie in a Tessie. Mm-hmm. And someone else said, who would you say is your biggest motivator in life? That's a good one. Um, myself. Mm-hmm. How come? No, no, for real. I'm always trying to top myself. I'm very competitive. I'm like... I, I used to play sports, so I'm always trying to beat myself. And I feel like when your competition is yourself, I feel like it's healthy, um, it's constructive criticism from you to you, um, and only you can make you grow. I mean, there's other factors. There's family members. There's Icy Gang. There's my friends who I dearly love. But it's just like 
when it comes down to execution, it's, it's really a, a one-man game. So I try to strive for greatness every day, yeah. all day. And last question before we head out, someone else asked, what advice can you give an upcoming artist with no music out? Um, before you get signed, because once you are at a label, everything becomes strict, put out as much music as possible. Because mm -hmm. in this day and age, there's just so much to consume. People want to hear it all. But make sure that it's quality, of course. But put out a lot of music and see what your fans are digging. Totally. Do you feel like that's necessary to kind of get a litmus test for what you should do once you are signed? Yeah. And I feel like when you have a brand pre-sign or pre-label, like you're established already in, in some way, in some sort. So put out that music. Yes. And we cannot wait for you to put out even more music. Um, last question about Pretty Bitch Music. I told you I'm nosy. Um, before we go, sonically, how is your album going to differ from High Maintenance and Icy? Um, well, High Maintenance and Icy have seven songs. Pretty Bitch Music will have more than 15 songs. So Ooh. I think that's just a, di a big difference within itself. So mm -hmm. expect a lot more slaps and hits on the way. Yes, and we cannot wait. Saweetie, thank you so much for joining. Thank you for the close-ups. Thank you for <laughs> being so honest. Ah! Thank you, thank you Girl, for the glamour. I swear, I swear my camera is like two feet away from me. and I don't know why my live is playing. Do I have to update my phone? No? It's Oh, okay. All right. Well, my bad, girl. Oh, my God. No, it's all good. You look amazing. And we can't hear thank to you. hear what's up next. All right. Thank you so much, boo. Hey. Happy Friday. Bye. Bye, girl. Bye.